get up alone Too heavy on my own The world is moving on I'm still standing here Searching for steady ground A place to settle down It's a really intimidating thing when you come to Lake Okeechobee. Uh, and, and part of that, I think, it had a lot, lot to do with the fact that, you know, I didn't, I didn't really understand where to go. I didn't understand the, the rim ditch and the canal situation. And I didn't understand how, um, how you got through the locks. If you got through the locks, you know, what, was in, what, what that entailed, you know, in terms of the locking system and all that kind of stuff. I just, I didn't know, you know, I, I just didn't know. And so, anyway, um, what I've tried to do a couple of times, I did a flyover of Cluiston, the entrance to Cluiston, kind of tried to show you a drone shot. I did that a while back. Uh, but today what I'm going to do is, the locks are closed right now. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you on a ride through the locks, specifically so that um, I can kind of tell you this is what you need to expect and, and, uh, and this is the way things are going to go and, you know, that sort of thing, just so you know. Uh, so a lot of people have never done this before. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to we're going to take a ride through the locks. And the idea here is I just want to alleviate some of the unknowns so that you can come down here and fish and not have to give two sh two two moments of thought to geez, you know, I I don't know if I want to go there cuz I don't know what to do. Uh, cuz I know that that kept me away for a while. So Captain Dave Steiner, we'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, hey, 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 listen, not to be gratuitous. This is in no way meant to be an advertisement uh, for any individual company. But you notice I'm wearing my Voss Waits hat. That's right, Chad sent me a hat. But I've got another thing too. Chad, Chad, I need some more of these things, man. These, this is, these are Voss Twisted Weights. Guys, one of the things about flipping, and I want it for one purpose, all right? Chad, I need I need the 16th and the 8th ounce ones. Send me some more of these, and and, and send me another package of these quarter ounces. Listen, send me send it with a bill. I'll, I'll pay. I don't mind. Uh, but uh, but I, guys, these little babies right here, you screw them into the end of a senko. You know, pitching and flipping a senko is something that we like to do around here. But it's somewhat problematic in that when you pitch and flip a senko. Um, you know, it still wants to fall sideways. When you put the weight in the opposite end, basically you, you rig, you Texas rig your Senko and you put this weight in the bottom side of it, away from the uh, thing so that it's gonna fall straight down like a pencil. So when you pitch and flip into those little narrow spots in the grass, it just goes boom, straight through it. I'm telling you, it's a thing, it's a deal. I, you know, I'm into a little bit of high tech rigging sometimes, I have to admit that. But guys, you need to pick some of these up. I used to do the same thing with nails. Um, uh, before I take a, a finished nail and stuff like that, but these are just so much uh, Well, first of all, they're the quarter ounce is much heavier and it's perfect size uh, But I've also got some times when I, I want it to have a little bit lighter weight So that's why I'm just shouting out uh, shouting out my boy Chad there and uh, here we go man We're at the bowl launch and my wife's gonna back us in she's she's an old hat at this kind of thing She's gonna back us in and we're gonna take a trip through the boat launch uh, or through the boat locks rather um, Yeah, the locks okay, all right, so we'll break <laughs> You know, you follow the lights on the uh, on these deals exactly the same way you'd, you'd follow the lights in a, in, the tra in a traffic situation. You're gonna, you're gonna. Uh, if it says stop, you mean you gotta understand that it's it's closed, and you cannot, you should not enter the locks, even when they start to open the gates, until they change that light to green. The reason why is that there could be boats either coming in or going out. You don't know what's going on ahead of you. Now these are on-demand locks, which is really cool because basically it means that between the hours of like 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. or whatever, whatever the operational hours are, you just, you drive up, you hit the buzzer and they're gonna accommodate you, they're gonna get you through. Now, if you come up and you hit the buzzer and there's somebody already coming in from the other side, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Don't keep hitting the buzzer, they, they hear it. All right, they're, they're right there, it's a loud buzzer, they understand you're there. 
Sometimes guys will hit the buzzer two and three and four times. It's like, it's really not necessary. One of the other things with etiquette, um, as you're going through these places, a lot of times these locks will write down your boat numbers. Um, some of it is to keep track of who comes in and goes out. Um, in terms of who, you know, if you go out and don't come back through again, that, that actually will rise up. They've got a little checklist, and so that'll that'll kind of raise a, hey, where'd this guy go kind of thing. Um, but, uh, but for the most part, be prepared for that. They say, I think you're supposed to have a little sign that you hold up that has your boat numbers on it. I've never really gone through all that. I've never really been asked to actually do that, but I do know that that is a thing in some places, so you may actually have a little, have a little, you know, a little board or something that's got your, your, your numbers on it, okay? So be, be mindful of that. Uh, you can see up here as, as we approach, um, uh, and again, I'll cut to my other camera here. I've got a camera on the front. But uh, as you approach here, it's got all kinds of things. Hours of operation, 5.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. from May to September, which would be what we're in right now. Um, and then it's gonna go from 5.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, in, in the later months, which is crazy, actually. There's a push button for service here, and this is always kind of dicey, because you gotta kind of pull in and back up to it. It's nice if you are if you got somebody with you, all right? But I don't have somebody with me. Now, it looks like there's a little bit of water coming out of here, and that I'm making me wonder if, they've, if somebody's in the lock right now coming at me, but I don't know for sure. So I'm gonna back my way in here, show my expertise. I should have never said that. Because now I'm actually doing this one-handed. <laughs> this is where I should have had a cameraman or should have set the camera up a little bit. But that's our buzzer right there. And I'm going to pull up next to it here in just a second. And see if we can uh, get our way, see if I can get us uh, through this lock here. So, there we go. And I'm just gonna reach up here and I'm just gonna hit the buzzer. And at this point, I usually just grab a hold. A lot of times I'll shut my motor off um, and, and you just kind of wait. Actually, they got a little, a little rope right here. You just kind of wait. What's gonna happen is if, if there's nobody else in the lock, they're gonna have to, um, they're gonna open this side first and uh, a little, little, the whatever, the water's gonna run out to equalize the water level in here. I'll drive in. And then, of course, I'll, I'll hold on to the rope so that you, can, you don't tie off in these things. Don't ever tie off in a lock. You should you hang on to the ropes because the depth is going to change. If you tie your boat off, you could wind up hanging from the side of the wall. So, so that's an important thing to note. Don't, don't tie off. You, just, uh, you want to uh, uh, merely hold on to the ropes. Now, it's a little problematic. I'm going to show you my trick that I do uh, when I'm by myself, I literally drive in and I grab uh, two ropes. I grab one and then drive a little further and grab another. And I hold both ropes just like this with one hand. And I can stay in this seat uh, for the most part. Now, sometimes you can't get on the right-hand wall. In this case, I'd need to get on the, on the starboard wall to do that. Um, if I can't get on the starboard wall to do that, then obviously I'm going to stand up and, and, and handle things a little bit differently. Okay? Um, but that's, that's typically it. Now, there are some other rules. First of all, you're not supposed to empty or enter the locks unless you know until the locks are all the way open or, or again we've got a light up here uh, there's a green light red light situation up here and and uh and and you know you you wait for that light to change okay now the lock is opening on my side but what i don't know is if somebody's in there and so it's my responsibility and i'm not gonna name names but there's some there's some guys some unsavory souls that that make uh, that are here regularly they just push their way through this stuff and oh lord have mercy on their souls um but uh that's all i'm gonna say mean about other people uh and i'm just waiting for the light to change here i've got a red light and I, i'm waiting for that light to turn green and we're waiting and i i don't know that i should do this real time i'm probably not going to do this real time i'm probably going to speed this up a little bit in fact, I'll probably, I'm probably going to speed it up from this point right here, so. <laughs> Captain Dave, <laughs> stay with me. Always comes first. Anytime you're boating, you, uh, 
move slow and turn fast, guys. I've got my eye on the two ropes that I want to grab a hold of. They're right up here. I'm by myself, so I'm going to grab this one right here. I grab this one right here, and I'm going to steer forward and grab the one in front of it as well. So I'm going to grab this one, just like this. And notice I'm just using momentum here at this point. Boat's bumping on the side. Got my hand's a little dirty. Okay, there it is, right there. And now, I've got it out of gear. You always shut your boat off. Uh, one, you always shut your boat off. So allow me to do that one-handed here. And here I am, you know, pretty well secure. Uh, at this point, my boat's off. You don't run your boat in here because, um, especially some of these bigger boats, you know, they have a lot of fumes, uh, you know, exhaust and things like that. And they, the air gets trapped in here pretty good when this thing is all closed up and all said and done. Uh, things get pretty trapped. Dave, don't, by the way, don't let go of your ropes. Do not let go of your ropes because when they start moving water, it, it your boat's gonna move around quite a bit. So you wanna make sure you don't, don't, don't let go of your ropes. There's the buzzer uh, on this side to re-enter, right there, and, uh, and that's us. And I think, I, I would bet Joanna's prop, well I see the truck is backed in, so she might have us ready to go. Anyway, Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guide's life. Guys, that's how you lock through here in Cluiston and just about any other lock on the planet Earth. Um, obviously, they're bigger, they're smaller, they're, you know, availability isn't always on demand. Um, but that's the way it is here on Okeechobee. And, uh, and, and so, don't hesitate to come here, guys. Water up, doesn't matter. You can lock through, it's not a big deal. It's a very simple thing to do. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that, I hope that, that uh, that'll get you here in fishing. If you're coming down, make sure you're watching my vlog. Leave me a message, say, hey man, what's going on? I want to come down and fish. I don't know where, what's going on. You haven't said anything. I'll get with you, all right? Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guy's life. It's a great life. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. For God's sake, share this thing. I know you got friends. We're building fire. Let's get this thing cranking. We'll see you soon. The world is moving on. I'm still standing here. Searching for steady ground A place to settle down No reasons left to find One day I'll change your mind And it won't come easy But I know it's worth the fight And I will run Cross the rivers Anywhere with you I won't give up I'll take my chances And I will follow How much it takes No reasons left behind One day I'll make you mine And it won't come easy But I know it's worth the fight And I know you can see it too So keep
keep me hanging on And I will run across the rivers Anywhere with you I won't give up, I'll take my chances And I will follow